Today we are skating the San Luis Rey River Trail. This is a bike trail that's popular with cyclists, walkers, and other vehicles. It's claimed to be a mostly flat skate, but oh. Oh. I beg to differ. This nine and a half mile path is in Oceanside. We started at the eastern entrance so we could tackle any headwinds while we were fresh and strong. This parking lot is at North Santa Fe Road and Highway 76. It's pretty tight, but there are several more access points all along the path. Knowing that this would be an endurance skate of at least 18 miles, Megan, Nicole, Steve, and I arrived with plenty of water and clean bearings. This trail starts off with some gentle hills and some nice pavement quality. It cuts through a neighborhood for the first mile or so. You'll actually skate on the streets through a neighborhood for a couple blocks, but you'll see the signs to get back on the trail. We did encounter some dogs. Uh oh. But overall, it wasn't an issue. Sorry about that. This next section pretty much sets the tone for the next seven and a half miles. There's blacktop interspersed with several underpasses. So the blacktop is like your usual street, kind of rocky and textured. It's rough but good quality with no holes or cracks. So about those underpasses, there are six of them, and they vary in steepness, but some of them can be surprisingly steep. Oh. 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 This one definitely caught me off guard, and I had a close call. Oh oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I put my toe down. But I was, uh, I don't know what happened, I guess around the bend and boom, ripped my laces and my thing, whatever this is. <laughs> I relaced my skate. I worked down the lace so I could just tie a knot together and tuck it in under my toe guard. But if I thought that hill was steep, I was sorely mistaken. For the most part, this trail is long and straight with plenty of time for goofing around and chatting. Hi, Nicole. Hey, Debbie. So if somebody invites you on an endurance skate, what what does that mean to you? So that typically means to me that we're gonna do roughly six to eight miles. We're gonna keep a much faster pace. So one of the things on an endurance skate, people wanna just stop, just like stop cold. And that's literally the worst thing you can do. What you wanna do if you can on an endurance skate is just keep skating. No matter how fast or slow, you're able to keep pace, and you'll get right back into your stride again. The path has mile markers along the way to let you know how much farther you have to go. Eventually, you'll start to see the ocean, and you'll pass under Highway 5. Take a right at the fork in the road, and you will approach what I will affectionately call the ramp. Without my friends, I may have turned around right here. But they gave me courage, and I went up that thing anyway, knowing I would have to come down it pretty soon. Finally, we arrived in Oceanside. We stopped for a skate maintenance and snack break, too. You know you're an athlete when you can eat clam chowder halfway through a 20-mile skate. <laughs> well, well, well. So, we meet again. Let's see Steve, who is a true master, conquer this hill the way it should be done. Backwards until he reaches a point where he can finish it off and turn around and go down. Nicole gives it a little test, and when hitting the steepest part, decides to take a little breather. And then she goes for a second attempt. Then she remembers that I asked her to spot me, so she comes back up to uh, give me a helping hand. This may be sped up by five times, but I got down that hill in one piece. But wait, there's one more person who still needs to come down. Oh my gosh, Megan did this on her first try while filming. That is amazing. The skate back was great. We had the wind at our backs, so it felt a little easier. But still, the meaning of the word endurance skate certainly set in, and we were happy to see some familiar territory again. Phew. All right, let's cross the finish line. Here's the finish line. Together. Smiling. All right, we're doing it. We did it. Oh, woo! Yeah. Oh man. 
So, all told, we skated 20 miles that day. Nicole and I felt it was a good idea to get a good stretch in. Two days later, and I am still feeling it. I wouldn't consider this a leisurely skate by any means, but if you're training or if you really want to work on your endurance, this is awesome. If you'd like to check out more places to skate in San Diego, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube. Thanks!